is abilities. Okay, try to include some of these sentences in that paragraph where you try to convince the potential employer. Okay, yes. one, uh, yes. So there's no comma between adjectives. Well, if you have a lot of adjectives, what happens is that between the last one and the one before that, you need and, and between the ones before, you need commas, sure, so when we have three adjectives. So we say, for example, clever, punctual, and independent. Yep. But here, we just have two. So you really don't need to have a comma between two because there is not a third one. And no added. Because I'm using this yeah. to connect to this and then connect to the noun, so and is not necessary here. Yeah. yeah, okay. One more thing that you can do, and this is going to be the last thing for people at home because you're going to have your reading class with Miss Jasmine in about 10 minutes. Okay, uh, another thing you can do to describe yourself is to use, we talked about adjectives. Let's take it a step further. Talk about adverbs. Okay, what are adverbs? Adverbs are words that describe a verb. They describe how you do something. For example, we say, I work hard. Hard is an adverb here that describes the way I work. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you some adjectives, first of all, to see how we can make adverbs. So, I have um, effective, then I have efficient. These are very good vocabulary for an application letter. Independent. And professional. And one more. Good. So these are adjectives. How do we turn them into an adverb? Effective becomes? Somebody said that earlier. Effective? Effectiveness. Effectively. Effectiveness would be a noun. Yeah. Efficient? Efficient. Efficiently. Efficiently. Excellent. Independent? Independent. Independently. Professional? Professionally. Good? Uh, well. Well. This one changes. There are a few that change. But majority, like 90% of adjective, can change into an adverb by adding ly. So adjective plus ly makes an adverb. Yeah? Now all you have to do is to use the suitable verb for these adverbs. Say for example, for independent, I can work independently. This becomes an important characteristic. Means I don't always need supervision. I can work independently. Yeah? Or you, you can say, I behave professionally, always have professional behavior, or I work either of these, efficiently, effectively, or, okay, all you need is a verb, which is described by an adverb, so two ways to describe your characteristics, either use adjective, Try to use more than one adjective with a noun, okay? Or try to use adverbs. I can work this way. I can behave or I behave this way. I make decisions this way, all right? Include this in that particular paragraph that we already circled earlier. Right? This affects your score with the grammar then. Any questions so far? All clear? Okay, so sure, go ahead. Yep, but if we use the two adjectives, which one now? And other will be the adverb in that Ah, in the same sentence? <clears throat> no, no, in a different sentence. That's okay, that's not a problem. 
Okay. Uh, in a same sentence, we have to use as in, like we can use the two adjective one now, or we can use adverb. Um, well, the thing, the point of all of this is to have a variety of structure in your writing because um, you don't want to end up repeating the same thing over and over again. Therefore, it's important to have variety. Once you do adjective noun, next time you do adverb. So you try to, you know, have a variety of styles in there. That's okay. So um, students in the class are going to do a sample writing. I'm going to say goodbye to you. Um, good luck with your reading class and hope to see you again soon. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.